Hello everyone and welcome to SUNUP. I'm Lyndall Stout. Today we begin by looking at some ongoing research that uses wheat pasture as a supplement to winter feeding. Here's our extension beef cattle specialist, Dave Lohman. In this experiment, what we've got, Lyndall, is uh, one set of cows that are managed more traditionally with a low stocking rate on native pasture. We have three replications or three pastures of those cows and they're fall calving cows. And in, in uh, the intensive group, more intensively managed group, we have uh, cows that are limit grazing wheat through the winter. And then once we get past first hollow stem, we just turn them out and let them graze the wheat out. And the plan is for that group of cows or that treatment to go to native pasture and then come back later in the summer and graze the same acre of wheat, uh, uh, a cover crop. So that's the intensive system. How long are these cows out here grazing and how do you measure how much they're actually eating? They graze the wheat uh, four hours a day, three days a week. And of course the wheat is a really good complement to the low quality prairie hay because it runs say four to five percent protein and the wheat's 20 to 25 percent. So we kind of thought that that three times a week might meet their protein requirement and supply some additional energy supplementation as well. And talk about the science that goes into really measuring how much they've consumed when they've been out in the pasture here. That's one of the most difficult things in grazing research is measuring forage consumption. Uh, you just can't, you can't chase the cow around with a scale. And so what we, what we decided to try for this project was before we turn the cows out at noon, uh, the, the students weigh, and we only, we've only done two cows per day, and you'll understand why as I describe it, but um, weigh the cows, turn them out at about noon and then after four hours they weigh the cow back again so you would think that her body weight would go up as she consumes wheat forage but the tricky part of that is is that we all sometimes those cows will defecate during that time period and so the graduate students monitored the cows the whole time and anytime a cow defecated they with the rubber gloves and the plastic bag they go pick that up put it in the bag, identify it to that cow, and then we'd weigh that as well so that we knew exactly um, how much forage they consumed. The last little piece of, of, of calculating dry matter consumption is figuring out how much dry matter is in the wheat because there's a lot of moisture in that forage. And so right after the cows were brought in and weighed the second time, they'd come back out to the pasture and clip some forage, take it to the ovens, and determine the dry matter content. So there's some paying their dues in the name of science, they if you are. will. They've worked hard and that's, a, that's kind of a long four hours waiting for, a cow, for the event to occur in a cow, but they've, they've done a good job and it's worked really well. And now you're able to really actually see the results between the different groups. Talk about that. So far, uh, the, one interesting thing is that in that four hour period, those cows are consuming, these cows on the wheat, uh, treatment or the intensive treatment are consuming about 16 pounds of wheat dry matter. That's a lot. We didn't expect that they would be able to consume that much. Uh, so the overall results through the wintering phase thus far is uh, the cows on the limit grazed wheat weigh about 100 pounds more than the cows on native pasture and 3 pounds of 40 percent cubes, okay, the extensive treatment. They're about a body condition score and a half higher, in other words, fleshier. And the calves on the limit grazing wheat up to this point weigh about 60 pounds more. So pretty significant, it sounds like. Pretty significant. And now, as you can see, we've turned them out for the graze out period. And that difference in calf weights is going to continue to, to grow. So what happens next? You're going to continue with this study. You have some other things planned? We do. The um, these cows will go to native pasture after graze out, just like the extensive group of cows. And then we'll wean all of the calves in July and they'll go to the feed yard and we intend to track feed yard performance, feed efficiency, uh, and also look at carcass quality to see if that higher weaning weight in the intensive cattle group uh, carries through. Very interesting research. Dave Lawman, our Extension Beef Cattle Specialist, keep us posted. We want to know how it goes. Will do. Thank you for coming out. Thanks.